jobless. In, um, um, eight months. I might, no. start my, I might start eating my lunch out here. Like Josh, when was your one, show? When, you, when was your dance show, Josh? I need to ask uh, where I'm off. I mean, mm. first Katsu Curry that in eight months. Very good. Very good. Very good. Shopping, maybe? Swiss is all in the first. Oh, no. Oh, that's Look what I picked up. We well, can't really see it because the sun is kind of blocking it. But if you can see, it's um, from from an angle. Parasite. I picked up Parasite. It was um, yeah. I haven't seen Parasite yet, so I'm, oh, I haven't seen Parasite yet. So I'm really excited to watch it because I really like the work of uh, Bong Joon Ho. Of how big this film is, I just haven't been able to find it anywhere. Chance I've checked like three HMVs and I'm just I'm happy. I'm happy I managed to find it. Um, <laughs> Just got back, um, I went shopping with some of my friends. Uh, we went to a place called Lakeside. What If you're by London, you probably know. Pretty cool place, have some cool stuff there. We played a bit of pool. Oh, but also, this coming to post today. Very happy about this. It's um, the newest edition of National Geographic, and it's probably one of my favorite covers are the ones I have. It's very cool. I, I, I really like getting these in the post. They're, they're nice to read if I have nothing else to do. So yeah, today's been a bit hectic for me. Um, I've kind of been out all day, so. I didn't really feel like um, vlogging too much because it's like one of my final days with you know some of my friends and it's getting to the point where I can't really waste time if that makes sense. I'm not going to be seeing them for quite a long time so I want to make the most out of every single day and therefore I don't want to be vlogging every single second. I'm very, I'm very, I'm, I'm scared, I'm scared. Um, but excited, like happy, scared if that's a thing. So I've been thinking about what I can do today because obviously I'm not vlogging and I thought I would, um, I would talk about something because slowly lockdown is being restricted and rules and everything is slowly being uh, lifted. Yeah. Oh no. I've been thinking about what I've been doing and what I've done and stuff. And one thing I have done a lot is um, expand on my film knowledge and what I've seen. So. Um, I thought I'd talk about it today because I, I kind of mention it every now and then, but I, I haven't really done a video on it. Today I'm going to talk about what I've seen in quarantine. Like more films you watch, uh, more like you're going to find films you like. Um, obviously, that's kind of how it works, Max. So for starters, a lot of these films are films that I've like never seen before. And I've been wanting to see all the time and never really had the time. So yeah, so starting off, I basically watched most of David Finch's work. This includes me watching The Social Network for the first time all the way through. This was right at the beginning. Absolutely loved it. I spoke about David Fincher a lot because I'm a big fan of his. And then I watched Mindhunter as well. Brilliant series. Then I also watched Zodiac. Again, I would say, personally, I would say Mindhunter is probably Zodiac done. Um, with more depth, Mindhunter is what he wanted to do with Zodiac. But nonetheless, Zodiac is still a great, brilliant film. It's also coming to Netflix really soon. Definitely suggest getting on that. Then I started watching some of the classics. So I watched films like um, 2001 A Space Odyssey. I don't know how, I've never seen it before, but I watched it in quarantine and I absolutely loved it. It was great. It was such a good time. The effects are out of this world, judging for the year it's made in. This was made way before Star Wars. Like this is, and they've still managed to pull it off. But yeah, I still want to see the rest of Stanley Kubrick's work. I still have Clockwork Orange and and Full Metal Jacket, so I still have two two quite big ones to watch. Then I watched some of the work of Alfred Hitchcock, so I watched Vertigo, what's an absolutely fantastic film. It's definitely up there with some of the best ever created. Um, it's on Netflix as well, and watch it while you can. A massive film I watched this year, finally, it's Apocalypse Now, and I just, oh, it's such a good film. It's so good. Just the scale of it, the scale of it is incredible, and what it means, and the performances brought, and there's a story behind it as well. And then I actually watched that very strange double bill I watched. I watched, I watched Apocalypse Now, and then immediately afterwards, I watched uh, Moonrise Kingdom, in very different tones, and it was it was pretty good, actually. Like, it kind of made me feel happy. Um, <laughs> I love Moonrise Kingdom. Strange film, very strange film, but there's nothing wrong with being strange. I'm quite a big fan of Wes Anderson, uh, so I've been watching some re-watching some of his work again i'm a fan i'm a big this has kind of been dispersed throughout quarantine but i've been watching the works of a24 you might have heard of them a lot of indie boys have been talking about them they've become really popular recently because some of their work has been picked up by netflix uh they're an independent film company what i really really love about it is sense that through their style it's very uh specific their style so i watched uh ladybird ex machina mid 90s so I have The Lighthouse to watch. Another one I can't find anywhere. And there, they're, they're a cool company. They make good films. Ex Machina is probably one of my favorites out of all of them. Uh, mid 90s, I really, it's a fun film. It's a good film, feel good. Especially the ending, it feels really nice. The upgrade kind of blows my mind. Just such a good film. The effects, the world building is just out of this world. It's insane. Perks of being a wallflower and Oh Brother, we're up now. That was a long death. 
film watching. Both were absolutely brilliant. I also watched some of the Coen Brothers as well. I watched The Big Lebowski again. Love that film to pieces. I also watched Burn Off the Reading. Very Coen. And I love the Coen Brothers. So I enjoyed it in that aspect. But I'd still, I think I'd prefer A Brother Art Thou. Um, but I'd say probably my favourite out of all of them that I've watched throughout quarantine. I think my favourite is probably Pain and Glory. Um, starring Antonio Banderas. It was also nominated for Best International Film along with Parasite and Antonio Banderas was also nominated for Best Actor. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if he won the Oscar for that performance he gave in Pen and Glory. It's just insane. And the ending, argh, it'll have you going. It's such a good film. And it's sad, it's a sad film. I definitely just suggest watching it. And obviously I watched Tenant the other night, um, if you haven't seen that video. But yeah, I also watched a bunch of other films. Can't really remember. I watched a lot of films during quarantine. But yeah, sorry I didn't really go into depth about each film. I would if I could. And I might do a couple of videos about a certain selection of them. I might mention them in other, in other videos as well. But I just kind of wanted to give an overview of what I've watched and kind of a quick summary so then you can form your own opinions when you watch it. I uh, definitely think that's a that's a good thing to do because you know, one person might like one thing and one person might like the opposite thing. It's completely, you know, you can debate about film all you want. But yeah, they're the stuff that I liked and I really enjoyed and um, each of them is unique in their own little ways. But if there's any films that you want me to go into detail with or talk about a bit more, then uh, make sure to comment down below. I could probably do a little video essay type thing about some of them. But no, I love learning from other people's work. It's a great, great source. So yeah, that about does it for me today. Thank you for joining me. It's been a very weird vlog. It's been a very weird day for me as well. So, so without further ado, thank you for watching and I will see you on Monday. Thank you for joining me. And make sure you tune in for next week because it's interesting. Have a good weekend, everyone. And I'll see you. Goodbye.